Imagine going to the south coast without having to board a ferry. This will soon be a reality through the ongoing construction of the Mombasa Port Area Road Development Project, MPAD. This project has been jointly funded by the Government of Kenya and the Government of Japan through its overseas development partner, Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, at a cost of 28 billion Kenya shillings. The MPAD project, famously known as the Dongo Kundu Bypass, is being implemented in three phases. Phase one is the already existing 11 kilometer stretch from Miritini through Mwache to Kipevu Link Road. Package two is the Mwache through Sunza to Mteza Road section that will include construction of a bridge at Mwache totaling 660 meters. Package three starts at Mteza and the four lane duo carriageway terminates at Kibundani at the junction of the Likoni Ukunda Lungalunga A7 highway on the Mombasa mainland. It will also include construction of a bridge at Mteza totaling 1,440 meters, which translates to 1.44 kilometers. This bridge will be the longest in the country and will join the Mombasa mainland to the south coast. Mteza Bridge will further connect the new container terminal of Mombasa Port to the northern corridor and the southern part of Mombasa mainland. This bridge will hence increase the competitiveness of the Mombasa Port by complementing ferry services. The Moche Sunza Mteza section and the Mteza Kipundani section will complement the existing phase one of the Dongo Kundu bypass and will ease access to the south coast from the Nairobi Mombasa Highway. Once complete, this project will enhance regional trading opportunities with neighboring countries through the Lunga Lunga Highway to Tanzania, the Nairobi Malaba Highway to Uganda, and the Isiolo Nadapal Highway to South Sudan. This project has created employment opportunities for the locals and will continue to create more opportunities as other major scope of works are taken. Mi kama mwenyeji wa hapa nashukuru kwa sababu vijana hapa mtaani wamepata ajira. Badala ya kukaa huko kushika watu maketa, kuwanyang'anya, at least hii wanakuja wanachapa job hapa, wanapata pesa, wanaji keep busy, wanafunguka akili, wengine pia wana learn new skills kupitia hii barabara. And I believe Ikisha atakuwa amechanuka kiasi. Wamejijenga pia. The Dongo Kundu bypass will ease access of the south coast, thus enhance the hospitality industry of the region and in turn boost the economic viability of the area. Tunaona kulingamana na hii manufaa ambayo serikali imeleta itatuletea mwamko mpya kutuchenchisha hapa pale. Hii barabara vile inapendeza ikiisha tunajua hapa kwetu tutapata manufaa mengi. Wawekezaji watakuja, washao na sio yenyewe pia tunajua miangaza zaidi tutapata ajuo kutakuwa na maduka au kutakuwa na moteli sasa biashara nyingi zitafunguka in addition there will be reduced travel times between the counties of Mombasa and Kwale which will allow faster movement of people and goods the creation of a special economic zone at Dongo Kundu will create employment for the locals as well as increase land value in the coast region and therefore attracting more investors the Dongo Kundu Special Economic Zone will provide a competitive edge for the port of Mombasa and will create thousands of job opportunities for Kenyans.